This is part 2 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll install the required software and set up our machine for ASP.NET Core development. There are two pieces of software that we need to install to get our machine ready for .NET Core development. First, an editor like Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Vim, Atom, etc. There are many editors that we can choose from. And then we also need the .NET Core SDK. As you know, SDK stands for Software Development Kit. First, let's go ahead and install an editor. I have Windows operating system, so I'm going to use Visual Studio as the editor for our .NET Core application development. As you already know, depending on the operating system you have and your personal preference, you can choose any editor of your choice. Visual Studio Community Edition is free to download and install. As of this recording, the latest stable version of Visual Studio that's available is Visual Studio 2017 and can be downloaded from this URL, visualstudio.microsoft.com. Navigate to this Visual Studio website and you can download Visual Studio 2017 edition by clicking here. This is going to download an executable. Right click on the executable and run it as an administrator and then follow the simple on-screen instructions to have this community edition installed on your machine. On my machine, I've already downloaded and installed it. While installing Visual Studio, on most of the screens, we simply click Next. On the Workload Selection screen, we have to select this important workload. And the name of the workload, as you can see on the screen, is .NET Core Cross-Platform Development Workload. You can find this workload under this section other tool sets. So make sure this workload is selected. With this workload selected, we have the .NET Core SDK also installed. So remember, along with an editor, we also need the .NET Core SDK to be able to develop .NET Core applications. By default, with Visual Studio 2017, we get the .NET Core SDK 2.1 version installed. On my machine, Visual Studio is already installed. Now let's quickly verify the version of .NET Core SDK that is installed by default with Visual Studio 2017 installation. The easiest way to do that is by creating a new .NET Core project. So click on File, New, Project, select C Sharp, .NET Core and ASP.NET Core Web Application. Notice the only version of .NET Core that is available is 2.1, the default that is installed with Visual Studio 2017. But as of this recording, the latest stable version of .NET Core SDK that is available for download is 2.2. So instead of using this old version 2.1, which is installed by default with Visual Studio 2017, let's use the latest version. To download the latest .NET Core SDK version, visit this URL .net.microsoft.com forward slash download. Notice on this Microsoft download site, we have the .NET Core SDK available for different operating systems. So depending on the operating system that you have, download the appropriate .NET Core SDK. Notice we have .NET Core SDK and .NET Core Runtime. The SDK includes everything that you need to build and run .NET Core applications. It already includes the runtime as well. So if you are installing .NET Core SDK, then there is no need to separately install the runtime. This runtime includes just the resources required to run existing .NET Core applications. In our case, we want to be able to build and run .NET Core applications. So let's download and install the .NET Core SDK. I've already downloaded this and it's available in this downloads folder. Now let's install the SDK. Right click on the executable and select run as administrator. Installation successfully completed, so let's close the installer. Now let's quickly verify if we have successfully installed the latest .NET Core SDK. As you already know, the easiest way to do that is by creating a new .NET Core project. So click on File, New, Project, select ASP.NET Core Web Application and click OK. Notice 
Now, in addition to ASP.NET Core 2.1, we also have 2.2, the latest .NET Core SDK. In our next video, we'll discuss creating a new ASP.NET Core web application using Visual Studio.